For centuries, humanity has wondered about the origin of the Earth and the universe. Perhaps the most impossible question to answer is how this universe came into being. To answer it, many hypotheses came forward, but in all of them, one theory was accepted worldwide. For decades, we believed that the Big Bang Theory was the true explanation of how our universe came into being. Unfortunately, new data from the James Webb Space Telescope completely contradicts the Big Bang hypothesis that the universe was extremely dense and hot when it first formed. In today's video, we will talk about how the James Webb Telescope finally verifies that the Big Bang Theory isn't true. So make sure to watch the video till the end to know exactly what happens. Ever since the 12th of July, a plethora of articles detailing the findings of the JWT have been released. The photos from JWT reveal a large number of galaxies, many of which are surprisingly smooth, incredibly small, and extremely old. There are a lot of unexpected developments, and the title of one article openly declares, PANIC. According to the article, the JWST's photos directly and repeatedly disprove the Big Bang hypothesis which states that the cosmos began about 14 billion years ago in a very hot and dense state and has been expanding ever since. Most cosmological theorists have steadfastly advocated this concept for decades, and the arrival of contradictory facts has sent them into a state of panic. It is too hard to explain why these too small, too smooth, too old, and too many galaxies don't fit with the Big Bang Theory. They are too smooth, too old, and too many. If the cosmos is growing, then there must be some kind of odd optical illusion. There is no law that states that galaxies or any other objects in expanding space will continue to appear smaller and smaller as the distance between them increases. After a certain point, they begin to give the impression of growing larger and larger. This is because it's believed that their light radiated away from them when they were located closer to us. This is very different from the way things look in our normal, non-expanding world, where things seem to get smaller as they get farther away. To put it another way, the galaxies that the JWST sees are around the same size as the galaxies that are close to us. This assumes that the universe is not expanding and that redshift is proportionate to distance. The JWST photos clearly illustrate that objects are getting smaller and smaller. Even galaxies with a higher luminosity and mass than our own Milky Way galaxy appear to be two to three times smaller in these images compared to similar images observed with the Hubble Space Telescope (HST), and the redshifts of the new galaxies are also two to three times greater than those of the older galaxies. This has nothing to do with what you would expect from a universe that's growing. In fact, it resembles a cosmos that does not expand. If it is considered that the universe is not expanding and that redshift is proportional to distance, then the galaxies that the JWST reveals are the same size as the galaxies that are close to us. But from the perspective of the Big Bang, expanding universe hypothesis these distant galaxies must be fundamentally exceedingly tiny in order to compensate for the postulated optical illusion. They must be implausibly tiny. One of the galaxies that was discussed in the publications was given the name GHZ2, and it was found to be significantly more bright than the Milky Way, despite the fact that its radius was only estimated to be 300 light years which is 150 times less than the radius of our Milky Way. Its surface brightness, which is measured in terms of light per unit area, would be 600 times greater than that of the brightest galaxy in the nearby universe. Its density, along with the densities of a number of other galaxies in the new photos, would be tens of thousands of times higher than that of galaxies in the present day. If galaxies are small and don't have any features, this means there was no expansion and Therefore, no Big Bang. Big Bang theorists have known for years, thanks to the photos obtained by the HST, that the presence of these minuscule, extremely dense galaxies known as Mighty Mouses is required by their assumptions. The JWST has made the situation a great deal worse. 
These same researchers have postulated that the little galaxies grow into the galaxies that we see today by crashing into each other and merging together to become more spread out. Imagine a magical miniature vehicle one centimeter long that weighs as much as a smaller car and develops into a real truck by colliding with numerous other toy cars. This would be an analogy to the process of this hypothetical merger. However, the JWST has successfully navigated this extremely unlikely scenario as well. If you were to believe the narrative about the toy cars, you would, at the very least, expect to see some dents in the fenders of the vehicles that had collided. The proponents of the Big Bang Theory did anticipate observing galaxies that had been severely damaged as a result of a number of collisions or mergers. In reality, what the JWST observed were extremely smooth disks and well-defined spiral shapes, precisely like those that we see in galaxies to this day. According to the findings presented in the article, Panic, smooth spiral galaxies were approximately 10 times as numerous as the theory had predicted, and the authors concluded that this would challenge our ideas about mergers being a very common process. With these new findings, the Big Bang merger theory has been smashed to pieces. There is no way that little galaxies could ever expand to be 100 times larger if there were few or no mergers at all. As a result, they were not extremely small to begin with, and the optical illusion that was predicted by the theory that the universe is expanding does not appear to be real. But if there is no illusion, there can be no expansion because the illusion is an inevitable consequence of the expansion. Consequently, there is widespread fear among Big Bang advocates. If galaxies are small and don't have any features, this means there was no expansion and, therefore, no Big Bang. Because nothing could have come into being before the Big Bang, the presence of these galaxies prove that the Big Bang did not occur. According to the Big Bang Theory, the most distant galaxies in the JWST photographs are viewed as if they were only 400 to 500 million years after the universe's birth. Nonetheless, some of the galaxies contain star populations that are more than a billion years old. Because nothing could have been prior to the Big Bang, the existence of these galaxies proves that the Big Bang did not occur. If the Big Bang hypothesis is correct, there must be no galaxies older than the Big Bang. Therefore, researchers predicted that as the JWST gazed further out in space and back in time, there would be fewer and fewer galaxies, and eventually a cosmic dark age. However, JWT findings show that galaxies as huge as the Milky Way are common even hundreds of millions of years after the proposed Big Bang. The new photos demonstrate that there are at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theorists projected, at redshifts greater than 10. There is no possibility that many huge galaxies could be created in such a short period of time. Hence, there was no Big Bang. That's all for today's video, guys. What do you think of the Big Bang Theory? Do you think that the reading of JWT is true and the Big Bang hasn't happened at all? Tell us your views in the comments section. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.